Hey guys, it's Alex. I just wanted to pop on here and show you a couple tips on how to cut out the micro bundle. If you look here, this is how it comes printed out if you print out the master bundle. It's 23 pages front and back and you'll see most of my um, printables don't have a page number on the bottom, but on the micros I do only because there's so many of them. Um, that way you can kind of keep track because there's four sheets per letter size sheet. So I am going to give you a couple tips and tricks on how to cut them out as accurately as possible. I used to use a cutter like this, like the slidey cutter. This one's actually a rotary cutter. Um, but if you have the money to invest, get yourself a guillotine cutter. It's I think it was like $26 with the coupon at Hobby Lobby. This one's a swing line, but I'm sure any of them work. Um, Amazon, wherever. I just needed one that day, so I had gotten that one at um, Hobby Lobby. And before you start doing your printables, you want to know exactly what your size is because that's going to help you. Once you start cutting with the crop lines, they're going to disappear and you're going to want to know what the measurements are. Most of them, if you see right here, there are measurements. There are measurements everywhere, so it'll help you out. I am sorry for the crappy lighting, but it's late at night, and I've told you before I'm not a video person. So I'm going to have my husband help me so I can use both hands so I can show you guys how to cut this out. So I always start on. Sorry, guys. I always start on the short end, um, and you see the crop lines right here, the up and down vertical. That's where we're going to start. If you can zoom in, not zoom in, but move it closer right there. It's not right where the um, crop line is. So if you start cutting and you notice like you're off a little bit, just lift it up or resituate your paper so you can get it as accurately as possible with the crop line. So I always do the short end first. And then I go for the next long end. You see the crop line still up there. And you see I'm a little bit off, so I'm going to take this back up before I cut into that area. And that's a little bit more accurate then. And then I turned it again, so I'm doing my last short edge. But now you see we don't have any crop lines to show us where to cut on this. So a micro note is three by four inches. So this is four inches, this is four inches. Um, we need to know three inches plus three inches, six inches. So I'm gonna line this paper up right here with the six. Try to get it as good as possible. You're gonna hold it real still with your hand and you're gonna cut it. Now we have four papers on here, but now there's no crop lines. I did have one originally in the middle, but it got messy and it wasn't going to help you guys. So you could either start long end or short end, however you want to do it. I'm going to start separating the top half from the bottom half. And like I said, this was four inches. So I am going to line that up with the four inches. Give it a chop. So now I have my two sides and then I want to separate those two and this is supposed to be three inches and three inches. So I will line that up with three inches. I'll do the same for this one. Three inches. Um, I recommend making sure you're putting these in order um, as you do it. So each sheet that you cut. Um, one way you can kind of tell if you're putting it in the right order is if you look at mine, this goes on like the margin where the rings or the discs are, so that way you know where your middle is. So kind of figure out your order. We've got the title page, a blank grid sheet, January through April, then there's May, and you're going to turn it over, and there's your last one, and you have... All of your little micros there and then you go over here this is the arc punch which works way better than the happy punch give it a little punch and there you go so I hope that helps if you guys have any questions um, go ahead and leave a comment below um, you can wait to punch till the end but I definitely recommend like each sheet of 
these that you cut out, put it in order and put it in a stack because otherwise you're going to get it all messed up. And like I said, they have page numbers on the bottom so you can kind of group your fours. Um, any questions? Comment below. Go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at it's Alex Marie, um, and I'll probably have some more videos there soon. Hope this helps, guys.